Let me quickly show you how to record gameplay in OBS Studio right now. If you don't already have OBS Studio, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can download it and install it. And once you've done that, it should look something like this. The black square at the top is gonna be our preview so we can see what we add, like a webcam or our gameplay. Below that is our audio mixer so we can control our game volume as well as our microphone volume. The sources to the left are gonna be the things that we add like our webcam and the gameplay. To the left of that, we have scenes which are basically going to be different scenes that you can switch between. So if you wanna have a gameplay scene with you playing the game if you want to have a scene with just your webcam then you can switch between those two scenes if you'd like first thing we're going to do is get a cool webcam overlay to put around our webcam to make our recording stand out and we're going to do it for free using today's sponsor own pro i left the link in the description down below where you can follow along once you're on the site we're going to click join for free and then if you got a twitch account you can log in with twitch or you can log in with discord email or whatever so i'm going to log in with twitch it'll bring us to the dashboard and now we're going to click on download obs plugin and since we downloaded the most recent version of obs studio i'm going to click on obs studio 28 plus. So make sure you have the most recent version of OBS Studio and the most recent version of Own Pro. So we'll click this one. It'll start the download in the bottom left and then we can run it by clicking on it. Click accept and then next. Click next again. Hit OK. Hit next. Hit install. Then hit finish. Now let's go back to OBS Studio. In order for this to take effect, we need to actually close out OBS Studio by clicking the X in the top right. And we're going to reboot it back up, but we're actually going to right click and then go to properties and then go to compatibility and then run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and then hit OK. And then now let's boot it up again. Now you can see we got a pop-up and we're going to click agree and then click accept. Now you can see at the top we have own pro so we'll click overlay and alert store. Now you can see we got access to these free overlays on the top. If you guys want access to the hundreds of different overlays beneath and switch between them then you can click on dashboard and then profile in the bottom left and then my subscription. Then you can go to change plan. And then you can do the yearly subscription and then use coupon code CPAUSE and save 50% off. But sticking with the free version is totally cool too. So to keep it easy I'll just use one of the free versions like the fully animated chroma. We'll click it. You can see the preview of what it looks like if we click showcase. I like this webcam overlay, which we'll be using today. So I'm just going to click install and then it automatically imports all the different scenes and everything you're possibly going to need. We're just going to be using the live scene. So I'll click the live scene. And then now you can see we got a bunch of stuff on the screen. So I'm going to figure out which one of these I like. I'm going to use this one right here. So I'll click it and you can see it's webcam one. So I'm actually going to hide everything else and we're just going to use the webcam. So now that we have our webcam overlay, I'm actually going to add a webcam. So I'm going to click the plus button under sources. We'll go to video capture device. I'm going to call it webcam one, two, three. We're going to pick our webcam from the drop down list. If you want, you can configure your settings, but I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to drag the corner to make it smaller. I'm actually going to delete all this other stuff since we don't really need it. So I'm going to keep just the webcam overlay and I'm going to drag my webcam behind the webcam overlay like so. So you can use the corners to resize it. And then if you're on Windows, you can hold Alt and drag the sides and then you can crop it just how you want it. And you can use the arrow keys to move it just around ever so slightly. So now that we got our webcam looking cool, let's add our gameplay. So I'm going to boot up everybody's favorite game, Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe, of course. So make sure to drop a quick like on the video for that. And we're going to run the game. This game's going to be a little tricky to capture, but I did this on purpose so I can go over the three different ways of capturing your game. So the first way, we're actually going to add a source and we're going to add a game capture. Then we'll click OK. Usually it'll automatically grab the gameplay. If it doesn't work for any full screen application, you can go to specific window, find the window, Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe, hit OK, and it'll pop up like so. If this doesn't work for you, I'll be going over the other methods in just a second. But for this instance, it's a weird resolution. So what I can do is I can right click it then we can go to transform and then we can do fit to screen. And if you don't like that, it has the black bars on the side. You can right click transform and then go to stretch to screen. And then you got that. But you've noticed that our webcam is hiding behind this because it's above all the other sources. So we're going to grab our game capture and bring it behind the other sources. And there you go. But if this doesn't work for you, I'm going to close this out. We're going to add another source and we're going to do a window capture. Instead of using a game capture, you can use a window capture and then you can click window and then you find the game from there it'll automatically capture it click okay same thing drag it to the bottom and if both of these do not work for you you can go and add a new source and then use a display capture and this will capture everything that's on your monitor and if you're having more trouble try and mess with the in-game resolution like borderless full screen and other options but now that we've got our webcam and our gameplay let's set up our microphone so we're gonna go to the settings in the bottom right and then we're gonna go to the audio tab our desktop audio this is where the gameplay is gonna be coming from so if you know which speaker you're using, then you can go and pick it from there. Chances are the default will work just fine. However, the microphone we got to pick out from the list. So we'll pick mic auxiliary audio, and then we're going to go and pick our microphone from the list. Mine happens to be voice two, and then I'll hit apply and okay. And then now you can hear whenever I'm talking that my mic volume is getting picked up right there. So if I want to make my microphone softer, I can just drag this down. If I want to make my game volume softer, I can drag this one down. Since there's no game volume coming from the game right now, there's no audio there. So now that we have our microphone set up, we got to set up our settings. The simplified version of doing this is we're going to go to the top 
we're gonna go to tools and we're gonna do auto configuration wizard. Then we'll click optimize just for recording. Then we'll hit next. The base canvas resolution is what size monitor you're using. In this instance, I happen to be using a 1080p monitor. So I'm gonna use 1080p. For FPS, I'm gonna do either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. Then hit next. Then it's gonna automatically pick the settings that are best for your computer. So we'll hit apply settings. Two more things we gotta do. Number one, we gotta determine is this hoodie pink or an aggressive salmon? So comment down below what you think. And number two, we gotta go to settings in the bottom right. Then we'll go to output, scroll down to recording, and you'll see a recording path right here. This is where your files are gonna be saved when you finish the recordings. So make sure you know where this is and you can browse and make a new folder to somewhere that you recognize. And then once we've got that, we'll hit okay. So now that we have our cool webcam overlay, our webcam, our gameplay, and our audio all set up, when you're ready to start recording, we'll click start recording in this bottom right. It'll say stop recording since we're currently in the process of recording. You can see the little red dot and recording with the time going up. That means that we're currently recording. And when we're done, we click stop recording. It'll stop the recording. And then we can go and see the file where it's saved. A lot of the time when you try recording for the first time, you'll either notice that you're dropping frames, lagging, or getting some sort of delay. If you're experiencing that, you gotta watch this video to the side of me. I break down the settings individually one by one. So that way we can get the best settings for your computer.